Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on when you're watching this. This is Pastor Chris coming again from the Del Mar Reformed Church. I wanted to share just a couple of things with you today or whenever you're watching that this week. Uh, a thought or two about some of the passages that we might read this week in Scripture and also prayer requests. So you may or may not know that coming up in just a couple of days, we celebrate the Ascension of the Lord. This is an event that happens 40 days after Easter, and there's some stories about it in Scripture that go along with it, chiefly from Luke's uh, 24th chapter, right at the end of his, his book, uh, verses 50 to 53. And then Luke, who also writes the Acts of the Apostles, retells the story, but with greater detail, in the first chapter of Acts, verses 1 through 11. Other Scripture readings uh, for this week We'll be focusing on 1 Peter. You'll see about that in our Bible study video and also in our uh, worship on Sunday. But one of the other recommended readings in the lectionary, which is a three-year cycle of texts, is John 17, verses 1 through 11. And both the passages about the Ascension and John 17 talk about a time where Jesus is no longer physically present with his disciples. It strikes me as I've been reading these passages the last couple of days, how much they speak to people who are waiting and who are hoping or who are waiting for something and maybe even frustrated. These passages certainly have helped me to remember that the Bible is a living document. Uh, it's much more than a document, of course, but it's living word. Uh, that this word still speaks to us today in different ways. As I read these passages today, I thought there's, there's no way that not only the biblical writers, but the people who put this lectionary together, this cycle of readings, how they could have possibly imagined how appropriate these readings would be for us this week as we consider all of the things going on in our world. So I encourage you to take a look at the end of chapter 24 of Luke, Acts chapter 1, 1 through 11, John chapter 17, 1 through 11. When he prays that just as he and the Lord share a relationship, that we, his followers, might also know that presence of God in us and our relationships too. And as we think about what it means for the disciples to have seen Jesus risen to heaven, uh, not risen from the dead, but ascended to heaven rather, how his physical absence is not a stumbling block, but a next step in the progression of the followers and the early church. I wonder if we think what it means for us today that Jesus is ascended into heaven. We'll think about that maybe in the Bible study, certainly at church on Sunday, but maybe that's a question to ponder this week. What does it mean that Jesus is ascended to heaven? What does it mean about his promises? And what does it mean for you or for, for me that Jesus is in heaven? that we're, we're told that he's ascended to heaven. Again, we'll talk about that more in the coming days. I wanted to share a couple of prayer requests with you that will be going out tomorrow on our uh, prayer request on Wednesday. We're praying for Sophia, uh, who is a friend of Emma Leith, who's waiting for COVID test results. We're praying for Ariane, who's a member of our church, who is looking at possibly a hospitalization this week. We're praying for Kelly, an employee of one of our members who tragically lost her eight-year-old son to an accident just over this weekend. We're praying for Keith and Lisa as they anticipate the arrival of twins in about a month. So we're praying for, for Lisa that uh, her pregnancy continues to be a healthy one. And we're praying for Eileen uh, my mother, who's in her third week of battling COVID, and for all of those who are uh, wrestling with this virus right now. So I invite you to just take a moment to pray with me, and I'm going to conclude with another reading for this week in the lectionary, and that comes from Psalm 68. Maybe we could pray together just for now. Lord, we give you thanks for our pre your presence in our lives, and we pray that you would be with those who need your presence in special ways right now those who are recovering from surgeries or hospitalizations, those who are battling diseases and viruses. We pray especially for Sophia, for Eileen. 
We pray for Ariane. We pray for those who are grieving, for Kelly. We pray for those, Lord, who are anxious and worried about celebrating in joy in the weeks to come. We pray especially for Keith and Lisa and all of those who are hoping to welcome new life into the world in the days to come. We pray for all of us, Lord, that you would help your presence be made known to us, even though we know that you have ascended to heaven. We pray, Jesus, that you would somehow make your presence known to us, even now, even today. Help us to see you, help us to know you, and help us to be strengthened by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'd like to conclude with this reading from Psalm 68. These other readings that are part of this cycle this week are so much about maybe anxiety, worry about being separated from the Lord, or about how we're connected even though we feel separated. Psalm 68 is a, is a triumphal psalm, uh, a psalm of, of hope and a psalm of promise. So here are these words from Psalm 68 verses 1 through 10 and 32 through 35. Let God rise up, let his enemies be scattered, let those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, let the wicked perish before God. But let the righteous be joyful, let them exult before God, let them be jubilant with joy. Sing to God, sing praises to his name, lift up a song to him who rides upon the clouds. His name is the Lord, be exultant before him. Father of orphans and protector of widows is God in his holy habitation. God gives the desolate a home to live in. He leads out the prisoners to prosperity, but the rebellious live in a parched land. O God, when you went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth quaked, the heavens poured down rain at the presence of God, the God of Sinai, at the presence of God, the God of Israel. Rain in abundance, O God, you showered abroad. You restored your heritage when it languished. Your flock found a dwelling in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided for the needy. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing praises to the Lord. O rider in the heavens, the ancient heavens. Listen, he sends out his voice, his mighty voice. Ascribe power to God, whose majesty is over Israel and whose power is in the skies. Awesome is God in his sanctuary, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Blessed be God. And I pray that God may bless you today and in your days this week, in your comings and goings, in your work and in your rest. May God surround you with strength and presence today and always. We hope to see you again soon, either over video or maybe in person. We look forward to that day. Take care and God bless you.